The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 122, NASDAQ up 23, S&P's up 11, gold, gold flat. 15.36 an ounce. You had silver up 16 cents, $18.33 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 30 cents, $56.42 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Bottom line, you get uh, you get the 10 year flat, 130.30. 30 year down four at 165.30. Those babies, folks, just refused to back down. You know, they were back down slightly this morning, had tremendously lighter volume. They rejected lower price yesterday. And King Dollar, King Dollar is going to be the big deal out here today. It's down 65 ticks, 98.390. Now, King Dollar was going for that high of 98.770, contracting volume in a huge way on the way up. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we'll see if we get a, a failure uh, on price and volume out here. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 106.12, and the pound is out here at 122. And it's a TGIF, and it's a happy Labor Day. Gotta love it, man. Three day weekend. Hopefully, Florida. We're in Florida, man. Ooh. Seeing the updates. Yeah. Stay safe out there. Looks like it's going to be quite it's a little storm. It's barreling in. Hitting, uh, it's barreling in. And I was listening to uh, the archive during 8 o'clock of your afternoon show yesterday, and I heard it as well saying it's really remarkable, man. First storm in like 14 years to barrel into that Atlantic coast. It, and it, I said, I really want to see how they classify that because it is. It doesn't right? even make any sense. It doesn't make sense. I know. Because we know that. Because we heard of so many. I yeah, we, and we know that that coast right. has dealt with. Whether it's the peripheral of the storms coming right. into whatever, right. but um, I guess it's going to be the first one where it really makes direct landfall. But remarkable that long, and hopefully we'll see. Hopefully, we got a little days well, to it's, come. To unfortunately, see it it's hits. turning south. So, yeah, if it turned north, it would get up the coast, but it's turning south. So, and we'll see Tuesday morning, man. We may not be here. Yeah. We'll be here, but we'll, we'll we may not here. be on the air. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Let's go take a look at that platinum market. So, platinum, folks, has, has caught a bid here. Uh, about time. That's the other side of it. Um, you know, they. You can see three days. You know, we just went from a. Uh, what's that? 867 to 939. So this is a real bid, man. I mean, it just ripped apart its swing high going back five months. We take this, actually, let me put this up, put this on a continuous, okay, sure. PL1, PL1, yeah. Um, <coughs> this is impressive, you know. Oh, quite a move, three yeah. days. And if we take this, now let's put it on a weekly and see what we get. Okay, this is good. This is, so you, you launched 9, 905. So if we just take a, Price projection, you take a top of that consolidation, 905. I won't take the very low, I'll take somewhere out here. 760, man, that's pretty good. You're talking 140 bucks, right? So nine, yep. 907, that's 1,045. What is that up there? 1,022. Sure. This thing's going to 1,022. Uh, that's, that's, well, it's about time. I mean, <laughs> the bottom line is that compared to gold, this thing has been the biggest dog in the world. And it's hard to comprehend that, you know, this had a high in, in 2008 of uh, 23, was that 2308? Yep. I mean, pretty wild, Crazy, right? right? I agree. You know, so now we'll see how this shakes out because if we take this, watch this. This could get interesting. Oh, this is good. So yeah. on a long basis, folks, okay, this is a Definitely. decisive break. That would be saying that, you know, long-term basis, you go to 1,600, 1,900. It's just an eight-year trend. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> Broken, though, right? right? Yes, that's, that's it. You know, that's, and that's how you want to break a trend. Sure. You know, you, hey, you want that wide price spread. When there's a race to 0% yields, man, all those metals, of course, catching a bit, man. No. Sure. There's, there's, silver there's, there's, is just crazy. Yep. Um, hey, let's, let's pull up that silver market. I saw the price of silver yesterday, and, yep. and I had to do a double take because I somehow it just maybe hadn't been on my radar. I said 1833. Weren't we just at 1650 or 1750 we or every single day, right? We yeah. Were. Look at this. Just two months ago, you're at 1492. Yeah, and let alone five, I, uh, six trading days ago, you're at 16. And 16 that's where I just to grab it. My mind had kind of settled into even this was a staggering level, yeah. right? Where we were up to 1749 on August 13th. So I knew we we're above 17, which was a huge price one alone. Right. 
and then you know you're creeping up and even what is this the 23rd so that's a week ago today so that's friday so even monday we're sitting at 1749 again right and i saw yes it's i i missed that we we're at 1850 man <laughs> and and it was so cool about this folks watch this now now you're at the bottom of the high volume bar it's not a high volume bar it's, we're actually coming into it with heavier volume of 2016. 1877, oh, we're not quite there yet. 1877 is the low of 2016. That's right, my take is, see, gold had already taken that out, and now silver's looks like it wants to take it out. That's, yeah. so that's the highs of 2016, yeah. Yeah. There's the low of it, and the high of it is 21, you so know. So when you say it's, it's, it's of July, right? Is this a monthly? Yes, yeah, so it's the low yeah. of July of 2016. Yeah. Just because it was dramatically lower at the beginning of 16, but yeah. Yeah, so, you know, bottom line is that you get game on there. Uh, notes and bonds, these things just, they, they just don't yeah. want to, they don't want to back off. No. Nope. Uh, and I heard a commentary today talking about that the highest interest rate out there in the whole world is the Fed rate. Yeah. The overnight lending rate. Oh How does that God. make sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Because it is. Um, That's and pretty And why do we go, what yeah. are, because we're sitting right now at, what is it, 175 to 2? Uh, no, it's 2 to 225 right. is the effective uh, Fed rate. Which is remarkable, man. And I lay, you know, so we get the meeting coming up September 18th. 100% probability of a cut. Really, where it gets interesting is when you get into, I think, the October and December. What are the odds here? Well, they're thinking two rate cuts by October, almost a 60% chance. Yeah. And then when you get into December, there's a 37% chance that we get three. And then you add these two together. So you're looking at about above an 80, no, 85, 80, uh, well, geez, there's there's a 2% chance you get four rate cuts in three meetings, but there's about an 85% chance that you get two rate cuts yeah. by the end of the year, Yeah, which Pretty would intense. make sense when right. you're sitting at 2 to 225. And, and, you know, folks, if you've been watching this for a while, see this Fed effective rate? Now, this is pretty cool because this is the rate that basically was done last night okay so you see how this goes it goes two to 2.25 right so that's where the fed can lend money okay that's that's how the, the discount overnight rate. lending right yes yeah. so what i've seen in the past okay this is just this is new it's not new that they have up there but every time that they've had this this rate always seemed to be closer to the top end of the rate versus it's in the middle now okay which is pretty cool do you know what i mean okay because that's the first time that i actually noticed it that okay that's come down also that the they're, they're lending overnight money close well in the middle now where normally this would be like a 2.20 like Okay. when it was higher so okay. uh, bottom line is that uh, these rates are going lower um, yeah I know <laughs> seriously uh, right so and good well listen if you're uh, Alta Alta oh, salon boy. this this is like a haircut extraordinaire and if you uh, have this no, equity, they're in makeup they're not haircuts I, no. I feel for you oh man yeah. I say yeah I, I said this, I started to say it. I said if you're in there man talk about tough morning but you got to get a stop because oh, you got to it's I this, said if you're in margin you just lost over half your position, right? Which is staggering to be down, you know, yep. on a company that you don't think that's possible, right? You don't. No, it's this is, and what we're talking about, folks, is that Alta closed last night at three hundred forty-nine dollars, and it's actually trading at two forty-three. I think you're looking at monthly. I think it closed at oh, three thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thir right, but right. three thirty-seven, yeah. I think, yeah. and we're at two forty-two. You're yeah. about to be a hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, and it's not stopping. No. It keeps going. It's, it's I, I told you, I had to pull out a calculator before the market opened because they don't give you the percentages when it's not open yet, right? Yeah. And I said $87, close to $337. I got to check my math. That sounds like 25%. It was. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I coming right back. Dow. Dow's up buck 10. Nasdaq up 10. SP's up 8.5. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you got the uh, Dow right now up 100. NASDAQ is up 9. S&Ps are up 8. The NQs uh, just uh, gave it up, folks. So let's go take a look and see how, how, how far they got first. So this is such a, this is so crazy when this yeah. happens. Almost 60 off the high. Go for yeah, it. and you got you know you got right to the downdraft, man. You Definitely. know the, the top of this downdraft and all the indices you know happen to be the highs of uh, October, August 13th as well as the 22nd. Yes. And that's where the downdraft is. And yep. uh, you know so let's see we got to 77.70. Well, I like it. it. That's a good number. <laughs> and 77.82. Like yeah. yeah. And then. Yeah, this is... Uh, I mean, you're talking about 60 points. 77 points would be 1%. Yep. Man, that's a mammoth move, and it's only 10 to 19 in the morning. And watch. If, we, if you look at the SPY, the SPY got to 294.23. I love it. And got over all of them. And now it's underneath them. That's that's a good setup, man. It's. We'll see if you get a failure by the end of the day, but that's kind of setting up cool. Let's go to our man, Al in Tampa. What's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. Um, I just wanted to run something by you. My wife said to check it out with you. What I'm looking at doing, I'm a disabled veteran, and I'm looking at, you know, I, I was able to find a VA loan yep. with no points or anything else for 3%. So um, You want to get it. And and uh, the nice thing about it is I'm going to look at buying a $375,000 house. Yep. And uh, then what we would do is look at, Selling our other house, we should net about two fifty. And I was looking at uh, your product for seven percent. Yep. You know those tax-free bonds. Sure. Yep. I was looking at taking that two fifty and buying the tax-free bonds from you. Well, they're not tax-free bonds, but they that, pay the that, mortgage that... payment on the house, and then I'd still, be, since they're tax-free, I, I wouldn't have to pay any interest on it. And since we're selling the house. Uh, you know, out of two, two out of five years, uh, you're allowed to sell one tax-free. Right. So we wouldn't have to pay capital gains. And then what we would be able to do, since we're financing the whole thing above this 7%, I'd be able to still write off the uh, interest on the house 
against my income. That's right. Now, let me just get something clear, though. The, 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 the first mortgages I have are not tax-free. What it is is that the, the land is valuable because it's in these tax-free opportunity zones. So that, that is right. the, that's the differential, right? So you would, at the end of the year, you do get a statement from us that you have to pay taxes on for all that interest. You have interest income. Okay, you have interest income, right? Um, now... Oh, the, I thought it was. I thought they were tax free interest. No, the what happens is that the, it's not. It's if you keep the property. Let's picture that the, the reason that it's valuable is that there's so many people coming into all these cities looking for this type of property because the way the program works is that you can build on the property, you can open businesses on the property, and if you keep the property for ten years, you pay zero taxes. And then what also happens is that let's say that you had made a hundred thousand dollars capital gain. You wouldn't pay, the way the program works is that you'd put that into the property. You wouldn't pay the capital gains tax on that 100000 today. You'd have to pay half of that capital gains tax 10 years from now. So it's, it's a double banger, which is pretty wild, okay? Yeah. So let's say it just, this is, it's just 15%. So you get the 100000 you'd owe 15000 this year. You wouldn't have to pay the 15000 this year if you basically did an opportunity zone property and then what ends up happening though you cannot sell that for another 10 years it just says it's deferred income that's, yes that's the way that right, right? it's deferred right. taxes you defer that income right and get rid of half of it though. right right and yeah. get rid of right. half of it and then whatever and, just, and then whatever you make on that 10 years you pay no taxes okay so, so that's kind of you and know, to bring it in that's that's the developers doing that doesn't it bring doesn't it bring in a monthly income so oh yeah, yeah. No, you get. Can yeah. I just assist in how? Yeah. Because one is the developer, right. right? And the other, Al, to separate. You're not the developer. You're not the owner. You're separate from that. But what makes it so attractive is the value of the property, right. which is what is securing that mortgage, which you have the first yeah. mortgage on. Right. So you're benefiting from the value of the mortgage, which you were the holder of. Right. right? You're the, the bank. You're the bank, the right? bank. So, so you have a first mortgage. You have the you know, the right to that if there's any default. So in that essence, that's a valuable property because right. many investors look to that property, such as yourself, developers, right. so forth. Right. Um, but it's that the, the you being the bank does not tie in to you being the developer. Right. They're two separate things. You're just uh, earning you'd, interest income. You'd, you'd be making 7,000 per 100,000 now. That's how it works. That's how it works. And it would still be taxable then, it, right? It, it is absolutely and taxable, And as you yeah. said it, though, when you have uh, a, a loan, you yeah. would then be able to deduct your interest you're paying from right. that income, as you said, which is which is a huge benefit when you're a mortgage holder. Right. Um, the interest and income is, is deductible. You know what's cool here, Al, uh, Al, in folks, okay? Al just brought something up. So if you're a veteran, what happens is this, is that he's at 3%. And on the VA loans, folks, what ends up happening is that they can't add in points and there's certain restrictions, okay, that the, the VA... Yeah, and also PMI insurance. That's correct, yeah. okay? Now, listen to this. This is really important, folks, okay? This is really cool. If, you're, if you have a VA loan out here right now, right, look at what your interest is because this gets better because... When normal folks, uh, not normal folks, but if you don't have non veterans, a VA, yeah, <laughs> non veterans, if you're refinancing a loan, right, what happens is that they will add fees on and taxes on, or, I mean, and points on. They try to add all the fees they can, right? Exactly. That's it, yeah. So watch what happens. If you get a VA loan right now and you're, let's say you're at 4.5, right, you can call the, you can call your broker, you can call the bank, right? But guess what? They have a program, okay, and this takes two days. It's a joke. Maybe it's right. All they do, they, it's called a soft credit. They run, they, they hit a button, and as long as, no appraisals or anything, you know. What ends up happening is that, now this is not a cash out loan. That's but, right, yeah, that's the key. You can't take cash you out. You can't take cash out. But what happens is that you can go from 4.5 yeah. to 3 or 3.2 overnight. Just a very simple refinance is a way to put it, it because it, they say, we're not giving you extra money. It's yep. the same property. Right. We're going to reset you at the current rate, and yep. because it's a heavy, heavy regulated Yep. Loan because the government's saying, Which is no, dynamite. we're not going to let these companies, right. you know, hit you with all these. And right. geez, I even as a finance major man going yeah. through mortgages, oh my it's, God, you can't keep track because these banks do it purposely. You don't really know what they're hitting the you HUD with when they're hitting intense. you with. Yeah, this, um, this, and thankfully, yeah. you know, we take care of the veterans, man. Right. And they make sure that those yeah. banks can't hide any of that. Right. So that's why it becomes right. so easy. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.
That's good news, Al. Yeah, I three, think that's three a great percent. plan, man. Oh, my God. That's, that's, that's a great deal. That's, well, the, the nice thing about it is, too, is if it closes in, like, 60 days, I got these two rate cuts possible, too, and uh, I get the lowest, whatever the lowest interest rate is. I know. It can reset to the lowest. Yes. At the day of the closing. It's huge, man. It's huge. And congrats on the profit, man. I think you got a good plan there. Yeah. Do. Three percent. Yeah. That's intense. Cooking, brother. Well, we want to make sure that we we want, we we put the money into something that um, uh, when we sell the house tax free, I want it in real assets. My my wife doesn't want me to mess with stocks or something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Should I, I don't blame her, look man. at maybe missable bonds, tax free missable bonds or something. As just long be, as you know you can get careful. your principal I was back. Say, be <laughs> what municipality yeah. you're talking That's about? Right. That's the key because. Right. You just you got to make sure that they're a solid municipality, and there's a lot of municipalities that aren't right now, so be careful. Have a great one, Al. Have a safe one. Happy okay, Labor Day. Thank you, Thanks, Al. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Stay right there. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow uh, up 108. You get the Nasdaq uh, Dow up four. S and P's uh, up seven. Let's go over the oil market just for a second. We got something happening in oil here. Do this we? is yeah. What's going on? We this, got a little negative action here. This is gave it up, man. Did we um, miss a, a tweet? No. Um, Maybe we, we must we'll have missed something. something. Let's see what this is saying right here. So. 
<laughs> this, the, the, the headlines is beautiful. The headline. This is eight o'clock headlines. Yeah. Biggest weekly gain, folks. Well, guess what? <laughs> it says heads for. Yeah. Not oh, quite yet. Yeah. Right. right. Well, well, no, no, I agree. I mean, as I'm in, as I'm in, uh, Mr. Basil Chapman would say, the day is young. Yeah, the day and they, is they, young. They, that right is going to understand that. <laughs> Fifty-five dollars. Yeah. Oof. Let's go to Derek in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Wyoming. Derek, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you guys doing today? Morning, Derek. Good. Doing hey, we good, want man? to know, we, uh, did you sneak into that meeting out there a couple weeks Front ago? Front row to Chairman Powell. I can neither confirm nor deny any presence at the meeting. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. we got to get more calls totally. from Derek. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect, man. <laughs> he a must spy have had a great seat. Great seat totally, man. totally. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting week up here, <laughs> to say the least, I when bet. that happens every year. Pretty yes, cool. I bet cool. it is, right. I got a question on the, today's volume. If we get a contraction of volume, what, is, what does that do to a failure on price? Does that, does that throw another thing to consider here? Yes, it would be considered. So the definition, my definition of failure on price and volume is like this, folks. So, you know, you, you always have markets go up and go down. In this particular case, because, you know, you can see quite clearly now that, you know, we, we've been in this consolidation since August 1st. You know, it, it, you know, the bottom of the consolidation, I'm using the SPY now, the bottom is 281, and the top is up here at, you know, 294, approximately. And you can see each time it's come up to that, which is, which is basically ICE, which is the downdraft, that's a Wyckoff term, it's given it up. So a failure in price and volume goes like this. You get the failure on price, meaning that first off, it has to get over the highs, which we did this morning. Then you have to close under them, and you have to have lighter volume. Now, this is the cool thing, and this is a great question, folks. So we know that you're going to have a failure on volume because the volumes are so high Friday at these highs. Yeah, okay? Right. But this is what I like to see. This is the this would be a more bearish scenario, is that if we get an actual contraction even from yesterday. So watch okay. this. We have, if we start on this, Monday, the SPY had a uh, volume of 72 million. You, you were going higher. Yep. Tuesday, 68. Wednesday, 59. Yesterday, 57. Is there a trend there? But, and, and, and this is what happens. If you get a contraction of that, that's even more bearish because it's showing that the, the volume characteristic you normally use is the swing point. But that volume is a monster. It's not, it's not going to happen. So if you get that contraction, then you get a, a, a higher probability that you have a true contraction of uh, true failure in price and, and volume. And there's a decent chance you do, man, because it, Friday before Labor Day. It, it, exactly. Everyone's exactly. out to the Hamptons, to Cape Cod, right. to wherever. Jackson right. Hole, man, for sure. And right. I tell people all the time, if you're a bull, you really want to see this market pull back today and not go after the highs. If you're a bear, this is what you want to see. You, you know, you want to see it get up into that level. You want to see no uh, v big volume contraction, and you know then the bottom a failure in price because that would be saying underlying this that we actually do have more sellers than buyers. You know, so it's going to be intriguing because I, I man, Mr. Dave White, he just brought up to the point that you know we are in window dressing. Okay, yeah. so that's a that's a heads up. There's no doubt about that. Fund buying, so yeah, forth. You yes. know, at the end of the month, the beginning of the month, and we will have fund buying on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's the end uh, of the summer. It's pretty interesting. As oh, in, you know, Labor Day is over. We're, you know, Boston. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar, Derek. You know, but Boston, New York, probably similar, right? It's like that's the end of the summer. You yes. know, like, and that's why Friday beforehand. Right. Take advantage of those three days. Right. Get yep. down Cape Cod. You come back. The kids are back in school. September second. Summer's over, man. Rental houses go through August. You know, you're back in you're back yeah. in the city. You're back in uh, you're back at your trading desk. Yeah. Yeah, our summer ended. I think last uh, last week, all the kids are back in school here. Yeah, yeah that's just, so it's, just, it's, it's the same deal. In yeah, Florida, yeah. they go back almost two weeks ago, which right. is mind blowing. Right. But uh, usually up there, you, you make it past Labor Day on most. Uh, yeah. Most years. And I feel like, you know, it's interesting. I always feel like Labor Day is almost like a new year, like the beginning of, and that just happened like years ago that. I, I think it I, has to do with us being down Cape Cod. Yeah, Because right. you, whether you have rental houses, whether yeah. you're just down there in your house. Right. That's, everybody else has rental. You know, no, the summer's so it's, there, it's activities, new. kids yeah. are in classes through August, you go through Labor Day, and school usually starts right. whether it's the Wednesday, Thursday, right after Labor Day. Right. Yeah. So, hey, how We're, long have you lived in Jackson Hole? Um, let's see, it'll be... So we moved here September of 08. Nice. That's sweet, man. I've seen pictures of it. I heard it's beautiful, right? Well, I'll tell you what. We have off-season until just about the week after Thanksgiving. You guys fly out here. I'll, I'll take you to dinner. Oof. 
Thanks. Dude. We got to get that on it. That might be possible. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keep calling into the program, that, man. We're going to make some plans. No, that, 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 the scene, oh, I've seen just pictures everything too. about well, that. Well, I, I watch it every day. I never miss the bull bear trading hour. I never miss uh, the end of the day with Tom. So no, even, you're if, awesome. even, even if I somehow miss a minute or two, I always watch it at night. So you, you mentioned you're coming out, and I'll, I'll get a hold of you. We'll do okay. it. Okay. It's on. Awesome, man. I look forward to it, that, man. That is so cool. Listen, you have a great one and a safe one, Derek. You too, guys. Thanks, Thanks so man. much, man. Bye-bye. That place is I'm excited, gorgeous. man. I'm excited. No, that's because, I mean, it is gorgeous, man. Yeah. I don't, I've never been there, but we've Me all seen either. the pictures. Yeah. That's why they have that big symposium out there, man. Yeah. They don't put it in the middle of nowhere. They put it in a beautiful spot. And you Jackson know what's wild, Wyoming. folks, is that I remember it's like about 25 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, that they had enough money out there that they convinced American Airlines to fly in directly. Yeah. And that changed everything. Sure, I think. you get a big port, you know, yeah. big, uh, right. easy travel, exactly. right? Direct routes. We exactly. all know you want to fly yep. direct for right. sure. So let's go. Let's hey, let's go over to Alter and oh see boy. what happened. Do here. we really? Are we ready for this? Yeah. Then we get a work day next. Okay. So let's see. So, uh, well, here, let's bring this down. Maybe the second let's see what one. They said first. Okay. You're gonna have a lot of articles to get through on this yeah, one no, this morning. There we go. Okay. So here's the numbers. So earnings per. Uh, Per share, is that year? Uh, oh, the, so the jump, they expected I think this 246 and they got 276. Yeah, I was going to jump fiscal year, right? 1186 to 12. They were looking for almost 13 before that. So yep. talk about a okay. huge revision. Um, fiscal year comp sales, they're now looking for four to six. They were looking for Ooh. six to seven. Yep. Still remarkable when you're talking it's about still a big number. We might grow comp sales for the year at 6%. Yep. And they're like, market says, oh my God, we're going to slash your market cap by 25% overnight. Right. Um, Staggering, man. Yeah. There's, there's they expect to open 80 new stores. 80 stores. And their um, stores are so That's big. fiscal year. They are huge, man. Uh, let's scroll back up now that we're there just to give, let's see what they kind of highlight here. So comp sales, key metric, are at 6.2% in the quarter. Below the analyst estimate, though, and they now expect, like we said, 4 to 6 as opposed to the 6 to the 7. Key, ites, key insights in here. While sales continue to rise, the rate's slower than the rapid pace the past years. And uh, companies still opening stores, locations climbing to 1,213 in the quarter. That's, I mean, because wow. they are the mammoth. They're not kiosks, man, right? Yeah. They are just no, mammoth makeup stores. I don't think I've ever personally bought something in there, but we're all familiar with them if you've been so, in the mall. And it's that Kylie Jenner. So later on in the year, they're going to introduce a skin line from her. Because okay. that, that first line was very successful yeah, for them. Yeah, they have the makeup brand, yeah. all right? Or whether it's uh, eyeshadow, what eyeshadow. Yeah. I'm sure she has a few different products. But man, oh man. And it was up 38% this year but and down 25 in a day but guess what that 25 is now on the higher number you can be up 30 percent i mean this is how the triples work oh, right yeah. you're up 38 percent but then you go down 25 percent from that higher number you yeah. might be below where you actually started from. yeah dow dow right now up 104 nasdaq up 11 s&p's up seven and a half we'll come right back if you're in the cd market and looking for a secure investment the tiger first mortgage program may work for you the security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stock Stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up on 97. Nasdaq's up five. S&Ps are up six. Let's go to our man Lou in Spokane, Washington. What's going on, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy. Good morning, Lou. You ready for a good weekend? Well, I'll tell you, Tom, I've, I've been watching that uh, hurricane you guys are going to get and uh, praying for you. And uh, Thank you. We appreciate it. Glad man. I'm about uh, 2,500 miles away from it. <laughs> We're getting a little West Coast flavor in the show this morning. Yeah, yeah I like, I like it. it. I like I it. Know. Totally. I know. Yeah, we, we don't get hurricanes out here. <laughs> no. Thank God. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll be all right. Everybody just stay safe. That's, you got you to gotta take them seriously, and that's the real crux. You right, know, we you, do take them seriously. Yes, you better, man. That's right. Wait, Tommy and I have been in enough of them. Oof, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. Florida, wow. Yeah. And well, we were in a, we were in a monster one in Hurricane Bob. We were at the Cape. When yeah. He, yeah, that's, that well, was, it a, was 93, 92, That 94. was a beauty. Yeah, it, wi it wiped out everything, man. We were. Yeah, that ended the summer. I remember as a yeah. kid, it, it ended it because I think it hit middle August, early August. Yeah. And of course, that was the end of the summer because everybody it was right. just destruction. Yeah. So I, I was up in D.C. in the 70s, and uh, we had a hurricane came up there and uh, was pretty much blown out. But what we got was heavy rain for three days, and yep. it was raining so hard you couldn't go out to your car, which was about a five-second run from the door, right? Yep. You were totally soaked. Yeah. Five seconds. That's that's where we know that like rain. That. That's where the word pelting comes from. Yeah, right. yeah that's, it, it, that's for three days. Yeah, you're, and you're pelting that, and that rain hurts. That can be worse than a storm because yeah. that flooding really can. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, you know that's that's what it looks like they're setting up for Florida to me. Yeah. No, yeah. it is. We're just hoping it's a little further north than where we are, but I, there's no there's no doubt. It's still too early. It is. And of course. You know, we gotta, we gotta, I gotta, I'm know. gonna be hustling all day long today, making sure to batten down those hatches, oh baby. My God. Batten them oh, down. Yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. So, yeah, what are you gonna look your, at? Get you a rubber raft, Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Get a rubber totally. raft, all right. <laughs> totally. We'll end up in the freaking Bahamas. In a rubber arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You were you were talking yesterday about the bond ma market and how it was a big consternation. I, I've been looking at this thing for a couple of years, and I, I don't think I got it totally figured out, but I think I know what the big problem here is. Okay. Well, as you know, the, the bond market's uh, one of the biggest markets in the world. It's, yes, It's trillions. close to a quadrillion dollars, a thousand trillion dollars. Right. And it, it's known as the smart money because... That's where the really big guys park their money. Sure. I mean, we're talking about guys that are, you know, Rockefellers, Rothschilds. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because you hope you're going to get it back. All those type people. Right, right. They got about half the money in the world, as close as I can figure it, and they got a lot of it in the bond market. Yep. So the problem we got right now is they got these negative interest rates going, 
and they can't let go of them. You know, it's, there's so much debt in the world. There's about they claim there's about 250 uh, trillion on the books, but I think there's at least another equal amount off the books. So you're talking about a half quadrillion dollars in debt. If you just pay, tried paying two or three percent interest on that, you couldn't do it. That's correct. See, yeah. right. the debt's so big, it can't be carried at any reasonable interest. So they've got to keep driving the interest rates down, or the whole thing blows up. Yeah, listen, that's a good point. Um, you know, it's fundamentally uh, the bottom line is that. So, what Lou's talking about here, folks, is this: when you do the numbers. Fundamentally, if there's any interest at all on the debt, it never can be paid back. That's that's a factual deal, and that's why you know, thank God, that people can go bankrupt, okay? Okay, so, I lost you a little bit there, saying if there's any interest, it can't be paid back. So, on, on a longer-term basis, because that's why printing money in the fiat system in general, okay, once you take the amount of debt that's out there, and then you take the interest on the debt, sure. right, no matter which way you calculate it, it all never can be paid back, ever. But that's just, it's, it's a mathematical impossibility, okay? Because the, the interest is piling up. So that's why you see wipeouts on a continual basis, you know? And, you know, we'll see. What, what I still am having a hard time, I, I totally understand the aspect that Tommy's a big fund, you know, you get the Rockefellers, you got, well, you have countries. I mean, the, 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 just put you this, you get China, and Japan are our biggest debtors, right? They themselves, they have to put their money somewhere, sure. okay? And they feel it's safe in the U.S. Treasury. And it is safe in the U.S. Treasury. So when you have this much cash chasing just safety, and I, I would yeah. say that safety, they just want to make sure they get it back. You know, sure. If you have billions of dollars, who are you going to give it to? You give it to a bank that might go to south? You give it, that's, so... You know, I'm, I don't know where this is, thing's going to end. <laughs> um, well, well, see, Tom, here's the problem. You got the richest, most powerful people in the world that own the bond market, basically. That's their money. Almost all of it is their money, right? Now, they are somehow going to figure out a way to come out of this hole or better than hole. They always do. I mean, I, I'm 80 years old. I've seen it all my life. And at the time, it seems like they can't figure out a way. But, Tom, they always figure out a way. So, so the question is, if all these guys got their money in, if the interest rates keep going down and go negative, like you say, they can't go too negative the way I figure it, because these guys would be losing too much money, right? They could go 1, 2, 3 percent negative. These guys wouldn't care, you know? But, but the, the debt has to be inflated away, right? Yeah, so would so, that be inflated so or deflated normally, away? If that I guess that would be deflated debt was away, inflated right? away, at some point, these interest rates have to explode and go to the upside. Which is going to, you know, it's going to wipe out a lot of people. Now, what happens so if I just, as my mind goes around, and I have nothing figured out on this yeah. one, man. I can go in circles, yeah. right, in terms of the chicken or the egg or who right. knows what. Um, but what about the capital side of things, right, in terms of if the rates really do go down and they have all their money really in there, then you have, I mean, just like this month alone, you look at the TLT, man. If you're in bonds, the capital appreciation, right. if you're in bonds, is staggering. It is. Um, it is. I mean, you, you just went from well, 130 see, to 150. They're riding it down. You know, they're making money on the way down as, as, as the, these bonds go up. Right. Back. They are. Yeah. There's, there's, and, that's, and somehow at the bottom, how the hell do they get out? I mean, they got to go into something like, you know, the metals. Or, that's, that's a great point. That's or, where my or, head went. You know, that's why you're seeing. The other thing is there's, uh, some people are floating a theory that they're going to take that money and buy all the goddamn real estate in the world. Yeah. Which they could my, do. My, my Which they take, could do because it's way bigger than all the value of the real estate. So they what, could come what's, out what, owning what, everything. We own nothing. Well, you just said there, Lou, right? That that's my take. And the reason being is this: if you go to Europe, 
what happens, you know, you get, you get the queen, you get the prince, owns all of downtown yeah. London. 99 year leases, okay? Right. They don't sell it to you. They sell no. you a 99 they, year lease. It, my take is that that's where everything is eventually and going to be. You're kind of seeing it. Black you, Rock has you, their huge funds, it. right? You're seeing it. No, that's, yeah. that might, that's I a think, great point, Luke. I, I think you're absolutely right, yeah. man, because that's the only thing that's going to be left that is tangible. At least you know and, and at as, the end of the day. And, and how many years ago you go, there's only so much land? Well, really, now you know what, folks, there really is so much land. Especially when you're talking about the U.S. in cities and, yeah. Totally. Totally. Lou, hey, man, thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Safe weekend, Lou. Happy Labor Day. Okay, you guys too. Thanks, thanks man. You Stay right there. Tell me I come right back. The best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And if you do happen to be uh, in Florida, these uh, you can see orange juices. Uh, this just jumped a bit from uh, what 92 to what's that 104? Right? Yeah, the high today 106.90. Yeah, uh, I heard something on Bloomberg today talking about that they're worried that 60 percent of the crop could have get problems. Wiped out. Yeah. We gotta get uh, we gotta get Larry Pesvento back on the air, man. We yeah. need to buy, buy, buy. What are the what are the orange juice futures? What are that, they saying? What's Mr. Beaks? What's oh the report God. saying? It's the gotta first time. It. My first trade, folks, in the futures market, right, was orange juice, and I lost three thousand dollars in like ten seconds. It was, and then the guy comes back to me. This is 1981, and he comes back. It was one of the guys that I had. He was working for me, buying coupons, and then he was a broker. Though, Still, come on, Tom, you got to buy orange juice futures. So I bought them, right? And I'm in the office, the downtown Boston. I give them the money, and they turn around and uh, he says, "Oh, you need more money. You just lost the three thousand. I looked and I said, "What?" 
I can't give me my. I said I'm getting out of here. This nope, is like that's not how it works. It's gone, sir. <laughs> yeah, it was gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so it's this is serious business though for the yeah. farmers. So they got yeah. huge, you know, rain of course, uh, 130 mile an hour winds, Labor Day of course. So two years ago, um, so. Irma, this, yeah, yeah. That, um, the storm helped drop a number of orange produced by the state to its lowest level since 45 wow. billions. On its current path, Dorian may batter at least a quarter of Florida's main growing areas. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you got, you know, orange juice futures. Trading places. That's one thing they taught me. Oh. Orange juice futures, man. I love that. It movie. took it took about how about how many words did it take when they came out with the crop report, right? And they me? said, uh, will not affect or will affect That's whatever right. it was, and they knew instantly. Oh, there we got we go. the wrong crop report. We yeah. got worked. You gotta love it. Totally. Stay right there, folks. We got fast market coming up for you. Then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great Labor Day weekend, a safe one. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, man. Real! Go get him, folks.